flown. I have sailed. I have moved about this world of ours. And ever in search of the finest of its kind, we bring you the tops in spine chillers. <laughs> The creaking door. The manufacturers of State Express 3-5 Silter King cigarettes take pleasure in presenting The Creaking Door. taste of new smooth State Express 3.5 today. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. It's a blend that has been perfected after years of constant research by our master blenders and the recent development of an entirely new process which gives you an even smoother 3.5 smoke. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. Move in world class. Get the taste of new smooth State Express 3.5s today. You've been standing there grinning at me with ashen white face, those large eyes, hot coals of fire, as though you were going to burn right through to my very soul. You must pay for your crime. It wasn't a crime. It's true what you keep telling me. No. Let me remind you. Oliver, it's getting later. I must go back. Sally, I... Oliver, uh, please, Oliver, behave yourself. You know how I feel about you, Sally. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Come back. Come back, Sally. I, I, I'm not going to hurt you. I, I, I love you. You're hurting me. Oh, let me go. Please let me go. Oh, I worship you. Oh. You know that. Sally. Oh. I... Oh. Please, Oliver. We were such good friends. Don't spoil everything. You and I are the only two beings left in this world. Made for each other. No. Oh, no. Yes. no. What are, 
Wait, what are you going to do? Look at these hands. What? Give me your wrists. Uh, they're, they're as cold uh, uh, as... Uh, as death? No. No. Uh, Azime! Azime! Uh, he, he's... Oh, you're not having one of your nightmares uh, again, are you, Oliver? He, he was... He, he was going to kill me. Oh, oh, my poor boy. You're imagining these things. He was here, I tell you. Oh, you must believe me. Dear Oliver, my dear boy, what am I going to do with you? There's no one here. Uh, my room's next door. I, I rushed as soon as I heard you shout. No one left by your bedroom door. The windows bolted and barred. You, you must have been dreaming. But as you may, you saw for yourself, I, I haven't been to sleep. This, this man you say that visits you in the middle of the night, what does he look like? He's tall, with a long, thin face. His skin is drawn tight. His face is almost like a skull. His eyes are like two pieces of black coal set against a yellow flame. When he points his finger at you, it's as though a piece of white steel. Oh, really, Oliver? White steel, indeed. Now you try and get some sleep. Please, please, please don't leave me. Please, Auntie May. I promise not to leave you until you're fast asleep. Uh, but, but supposing he... Now do what your Auntie May says. Yes. Yes, you're the, you're the only one that can help me. Now, that's right. Now just relax. Rizmak. Rizmak. Yeah, you're so good to me. I, I don't know what I'd do without you. you. You don't think it's true what he said? I I didn't kill Sally. Hush. You see. Of course you didn't. <laughs> Very idea. She's gone away. <laughs> You'd gone away. I thought... Oh, Sally, why, why did you go away without saying goodbye? I was only going for a week. Besides, you were very naughty that day on the cliff. When you ran away from me, I... I didn't know where to find you. Oh, Sally, it's good to see you. He, he said that I... That I... Wait, he thought you were dead. He... Dead? I remember what on earth are you talking about? This man, he came here. Oh, I've been so worried. Oh, Oliver, darling... That's why you're looking so hollow-eyed and so pale and drawn. Oh, yes, because I... I thought I'd lost you forever. Somehow, I felt that you were calling to me. That you needed me. I do, Sally. You'll never know what this visit means to me. It won't be the last. I know I acted a little foolishly running away from you, but we'd only known each other just over a week. Just one little kiss, that's all I want. Uh, here. Better? Oh, Sally, you worked a miracle. I don't know who he was or what he was. Whether it was in my imagination or... Who cares? You've banished him forever. Sleep well, Oliver. You pay your debt. You've got it all wrong. You're a liar. 
Sally's not dead. She's alive. I spoke to her today. She she kissed me. She loves me. Loves you? Yes, loves me. I don't know why I listened to you in the first place. Who are you? Are you, are you real? Are you flesh and blood? Why do you want to torment me? What have, what have I ever done to you? Do you want to know whether I'm flesh and oh? blood? Who I am? What I am? You'll know soon enough. And when you do, it will be your last piece of knowledge on Earth. Here. Take my hand. Uh, no. Go on. Clasp it. I thought you said you weren't afraid anymore. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not afraid, but... But your hand is... looks so... so cold and damp. All right. I'll clasp your hand. Perhaps I'll find you not real. <laughs> Your hands are as cold as, as, as death. Yes, death. Are you dead? Have you come to claim me now? Just, just when I've learned that Sally loves me. I'm not death. I'm death agent, and this is my last visit. But. Why, why, why must I die? Because of what you did to Sally. But she's alive. She, she's alive, I tell you. Look, I'll, I'll call someone. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get Sally over here. Now? What, three o'clock in the morning? Yes, yes, she, she won't mind. She'll, she'll do anything for me. She she loves me. She she said so. Where are you going? I'll, I'll call Auntie May. <laughs> it's locked. You always lock your door at night, remember? You, you... Get into my room through, through a locked door. Through a locked door, through the thick walls, through the shuttered windows. Does it matter? You'll see. I'll prove to you that Sally's still alive. Come away from that door. Uh, no, I, I'm going to prove to you. Uh, let me alone. Uh, this is my uh, last visit. Uh, you uh, must be prepared uh, to... Uh, you're begging me. <laughs> Auntie May. Auntie May! It's no good calling for your Auntie May. Oh, yes, it is. Take your hands away from his throat. Uh, 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 Auntie May, uh, thank heaven you're here. Uh, there, there, Oliver. He won't be uh, sure as long uh, as I'm here. Uh, now, uh, I'll go back uh, into bed. I'll uh, deal with this, this thing, whatever it is. You'd better take care. Who so would you? Frightening this poor man out of his wits. Get back into bed, Oliver. You'll catch your death of cold. <laughs> death of cold. You'll be laughing on the other side of your face by the time I've done with you. Coming here, disturbing people in the middle of the night. What's your game? What are you really after? Him. He's forfeited the right to live. He's my nephew. He's only 28 years of age. A decent, hard-working man. At least he was until you came and tried to destroy him. Why? I've already told you why. The girl, Sally. But she's alive. I keep telling you, she... You know she's alive, don't you, Annie? Of course. I spoke to Sally after she visited you this morning. You're lying. You're lying to save your nephew. She's dead, I tell you. Dead because of his brutal luck. How dare you? Oliver, you stay here. I'm going to get the police. <laughs> the police. What are the forces of the police against us? Could they go through that locked door, that bolted and barred window? We'll soon see about that. No, no, don't, 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 don't leave me. If, if you go, he'll... Oh, well, perhaps you're right. Look out at the window. See that golden glow on the horizon. Soon it will be dawn. And if this thing is really from another world, he will have to go before the sun appears. What's the good of that? It'll come back again. Had, had you not come in when you did, I'd have been... You would have paid the penalty for your sins. Then we'll all sit here until the dawn. Get the taste of new smooth State Express 3.5 today. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. It's a blend that has been perfected after years of constant research by our master blenders. And the recent development of an entirely new process which gives you an even smoother 3.5 smoke. 
We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. Move in world class. Get the taste of new smooth State Express 3-5 today. Open the window. No, no, no. no. Please don't do that, Auntie May. He, he's... Yes, he's gone. Oh, thank goodness you're all right. I'm ashamed to say I dozed off, and when I opened my eyes, he wasn't here anymore. Heavens, I have a lot to do. Why don't you get up and take a walk in the sun? Yes. Yes, I think I will. Now that I... Now that Sally's all right. That's a good boy. But uh, what, what about... Don't you worry about him. Now, as soon as you've had your morning tea, go out and get some fresh air. Yes, I, I will, Auntie May. Good, and I'll see you later. Uh, Auntie May, the door's locked. I'll, I'll, I'll lock it up. Oh, uh, Auntie May! Auntie, Auntie May, where are you? How, how did you get out? How did you get out of this door? What's going on? Oh, good gracious me, now look at you. Oh, here, let me help you get into bed. How, how did you get in here? The, the door was locked. I, 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 I thought it was oh, locked. Oh, dear, into bed you go. Oh, now look at the state this pillow's in. There. Now, don't you move. But I was going out in the sun. Later. You look so pale. I'm going to get Dr. Ratcliffe to look at you. Now, please, Mr. Carson, just stay where you are. All right. Hmm. <laughs> you know where she's gone, don't you? She's gone to get Dr. Ratcliffe. That's what she said. But you and I know who's coming to see you. And you and I know why. Oh, well, stop torturing me. Torturing? Torturing you? Don't you deserve to be tortured? No. You haven't got your Auntie May with you now, have you? But but they said they said you wouldn't you wouldn't come here when it's light. Who says I'm here, as you call it? Huh? Can you see me? What? Look around you. Yeah. I'm not anywhere. Oh. I'm not anywhere, am I? And yet I am. You know where I am. In your mind. In your mind. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, 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 he very bad. Uh, uh, he needs to be inspected. Uh, uh, oh, when we start to read uh, the drug, you know. Uh, 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 thank you. Uh, uh, roll up your uh, screen, will you? Uh, 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 yes. That should keep him under for a few hours. I think we've reached the crisis we've been waiting for. Poor Chappie. Uh, he looks so lost and helpless. Uh, true. But I think that if our treatment is successful, he's going to have an interesting story to tell. reality. When you first came to the sanatorium, you were under heavy sedation. Then we reduced the amounts because we can never hope to cure any form of mental sickness unless we get at the cause. 
And you know what the cause of yours is, don't you? No. No, I, I, I'm, I'm not sick. I, I oh, want my Auntie May. Now, listen to me, Carson. We're either going to put you on the path of recovery in the next few days, or you'll go into a home for the incurably insane. Uh, Which is it to be? Uh, she was here. She stopped him from torturing. Your Auntie May died when you were six years old. From that time on, she's been the only image you've ever had of warmth and comfort and security. But all your life, you've been living in a dream world, running away from people, inventing fantasies when you were alone in your own little room. But this last business, it was then that your brain snapped. You've got to get rid of your sense of guilt. It, it, it isn't true. She... She'll come back. Uh, Auntie May... You was... were charged with criminally assaulting uh, uh, this girl's family. No, no, I... And throwing I, her I, unconscious I, body I, from I the didn't. top of Beacon Hill. I didn't. She's alive, I tell you. She's alive. She loved me. I, I, she loved me. She, she came to see me. She couldn't have done. Because she's dead. Oh. Did you throw her deliberately or was it an accident? It was an accident. I... Wanted to tell her I loved her. I... She slipped. Well done. She slipped. But she's dead. You were charged with her murder and you were found not guilty. Yes. Yes, they said I didn't do it. But, but he tortured me. He put his hands on my wrist. They were ice cold like this. Oh, handcuffs. My compliment to Detective Sergeant Hinchcliffe, nurse. Tell him I'd be grateful if he'd come to the sanatorium. I need his help. Yes, sir. Carson, four nights ago we gave you EST treatment. You've been having a bad time, but I think we're going to put you right. Now, you were charged and you were found not guilty. I told the truth in court. He... He doesn't believe me. Yeah, we're going over the evidence of that day, of how you laughed and made love, and she ran out and her foot slipped. And... and so it was an accident. And so you don't need any Auntie Mays to protect you. No one is punishing you except yourself. Ah! ah keep him away! Keep him away! Oh, come on ah. in, Sergeant. Ah. Sergeant? Sergeant Hinchcliffe, you spent many hours interrogating Mr. Carson. Yes, I did, sir. You accused him of killing that girl. Yes, but it's all over now. The court found him innocent. Y you think that I'm innocent? Of course I do, Mr. Carsons. Now that the court has found you innocent, well, I accept that. Is he the apparition that's been visiting you? I... Yes. But, but I, I don't understand. Sergeant, do you solemnly promise to leave this young man alone from now on? Of course, but I, I don't want to understand uh, Come with this. me, Sergeant. Uh, just stay with Mr. Carsons, please, will you, nurse? Yes, it was good of you to come down. Poor chap. Is he any better? I think so. We managed to bring all his fears and fantasies into the open. When he collapsed in the courtroom after being found not guilty, he kept calling for his Auntie May. I did try to get the address out of him. Well, that's one of the things that triggered him off. She died when he was a child. He's always been something of a neurotic. Fancy his brain snapping just like that. Uh, his guilt was too great to bear. Do you think he really killed her? But the verdict was wrong? It's not for me to pass judgment. I don't believe that he deliberately threw her from Beacon Head. On the other hand, I don't believe that she was a willing party to his advances. I believe that this miserable, loveless character frightened the girl with his overtures. That she ran away from him, slipped and plunged to her death. Now, on the other hand, I believe he lied to the court when he said she was a willing party to their lovemaking. 
And that lie has festered in his mind ever since. And that's what has caused his brain to snap. But I think he'll be all right now. Keep away from me! Doctor! No! Oh, I want this a little loud. Well, Doctor, it seems as though you're wrong. the taste of new smooth State Express 3.5s today. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. It's a blend that has been perfected after years of constant research by our master blenders and the recent development of an entirely new process which gives you an even smoother 3.5 smoke. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. Move in world class. Get the taste of new, smooth, State Express 3.5 today. of State Express 3-5 Filter King Cigarettes invite you to listen next Saturday at 9 o'clock when they will again present The Creaking Door.